All right, guys, we have a couple of new builds for the Android 13 Pixel Experience ROM for the original Surface Duo. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you what has changed in those two new builds. And then I'm going to show you how to do the upgrade because as of currently, I don't think there is anything online about how to actually do the upgrade. It's actually quite simple if you've already done the full flashing is what I'm referring to if you're doing just the dual booting thing. I've already shown you that in a prior video, but if you've actually fully flashed it, the process is basically identical to that with one small change at the end. So we're gonna look over here at the Discord server because I've been sort of taking the things Ty has been tweeting and then reposting them over there on the Discord server. So that'll make it a bit easier. So he tweeted the other day that it's a new build. Uh, one build to rule them all. Now it works on Surface Duo 1 and Duo 2. So that is definitely very, very cool. Rotation lock also now works. And then there's some photos here of some of the stuff that they showed. Rotation button to change rotation during rotation lock works. So basically what that means is if uh, rotation lock is on and you rotate it, a little button pops up, but you can hit that and it'll one time only rotate for you. Very, very useful. Flex mode now works for YouTube. Very, very cool. And some other apps, if you can find flex mode, he says he could not. There are some bugs in this, which I think get fixed in the next one. I'm going to read them and we're going to read the next one as well. Uh, the hinge gap doesn't work on Duo. They mean the, uh, what do they call it? The glance bar where you can see the screen from the outside. You can see the screen from here. That will now be, uh, will not be a thing that is functioning. Duo 2 does not hand over touch events between screens like in the stock ROM. So dragging from one side to the other was not working. Fingerprint power button are not disabled when the device is closed. You could unlock it while it was still closed. Now, like I said, there was a, another new build that was just posted. It's a rebase to a new, newer version of the Pixel Experience ROM. Automatic brightness is now working. 90 hertz refresh rate is now working on Duo 2. And he also added some rounded corners, which is something they may add a toggle for in the settings. So what you're going to do is click on the link in the description. It's going to look like this. You're going to click on download and it's going to give you a file that will look like this. You can extract it using whatever you're using. I use WinRAR and you're going to get a system.img. I'm going to assume for the purposes of this video that you've already done the flashing. Otherwise, you would be watching that video. So you've already got ADB set up. You already know kind of how I have things done for me. I keep ADB in the root of my C drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this system.img and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into this folder just to make things that much easier for me. Make sure that developer options have been enabled once again. You'll have to do that again. Make sure that USB debugging is turned on. At that point, you can plug your Surface Duo into your computer. You should hear the noise it's going to make on mine. If I can do this, my goodness, you should hear that in a second. And now we are going to simply run a series of commands. Again, I'm going to put these commands in the description down below in the order that you need to run them in. The first one, of course, being ADB reboot fast boot. That's going to put it into the mode that it needs to be in in order to do this stuff. And from here, what you basically have to do is just flash that new image directly on top of what you have already done. So. The command is going to be this fastboot flash system and then the path to that extracted file. So for me, it's going to be this flash system system.img. Yours may be different, depends on if you've changed the name and if you did indeed put it into the same folder as your ADB stuff like I did. I did that because that makes this easier. You can then just hit enter and it will begin running this process. It should only take a moment and then we'll, uh, we'll pick up when that's done. At this point, what you can do is fast boot reboot. Now on the initial installation, it was reboot minus W. We don't need to do the minus W now, just fast boot reboot. And this thing should very, very shortly be booting up. As you can see here, we should be uh, in our operating system very soon. Let's switch to an overhead camera and we'll see what we can see is different on this new build. And there's actually quite a bit of stuff. There's one thing that I remember not him mentioning, but I didn't see in the stuff 
that I uh, actually put in the Discord server that is definitely worth mentioning. So let's go and get the YouTube application first so that we can test the uh, flex mode stuff. But you may notice that the taskbar has now switched to the pixel fold style taskbar. Very, very cool. Oh, I'm just switching between applications. That's a little bit finicky still, but yeah, there you go. There's your taskbar working just like it does on the pixel folds. So that is quite cool. Let's go install YouTube, and you can see, I guess while we're doing this, if you swipe up a short swipe, you can then grab another application and drag it over to do your split screening, and that is working uh, pretty well, I would say. The only problem I guess I would have is just that your, your hinge is right in the middle of it. That's also a bit of a weird thing. I keep switching between uh, open apps like I'm, like I'm doing a horizontal swipe when in fact what I'm trying to do is a vertical swipe. So maybe some weirdness going on there, but this is the YouTube app. Let's pull up this new story of DeAndre Hopkins being signed by the Tennessee Titans. Very, very cool. And let's go into flex mode and see if this recognizes it. Do we have to be in, in full screen? What about if it's rotated? Is that how you trigger it? How do you trigger flex? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's gonna be rotated. But then you can see here, yeah, check that out. Let's zoom out, make this a bit more visible. When I do this, boom, there's flex mode. So that is absolutely working, very, very cool. I think you should also be able to see that the edges up here, the corners of the screen, I guess that's more curved than it was before. I have to admit, I really wasn't paying attention to it before, so I guess that is a thing. I think he also said there are some changes to the way that the split screen works. I think before you would get an icon here that would be left or right, and now it's functioning just like it does on the pixel fold where it just sort of says split screen it automatically goes to the right. I think he said he might try and revert that behavior, which might be interesting just to get more granular control over um, which side you're automatically splitting to. I guess I can also show the auto rotate off button. So if we're like this and we zoom out here again so this is more visible, if we rotate See this little button down here that's popped up? That will allow you, like I said, to do a one-time rotation, which I actually really like that feature. So there you go, guys, continuing to come right along, getting more and more similar to the Pixel Fold by the day. Definitely some cool stuff to try out. And now you know how to very, very easily uh, update this system as you go forward again. As always, big thanks to Ty for the work that they are doing. You can follow them on Twitter where I will drop a link to their Twitter page. You can also find these updates being reposted by myself on the Discord server, however you want to do it. Both of those things are in the comments down below. Guys, I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.